Hello, and thanks for joining me here today. I'm Pastor Daniel Golden here at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Parkersburg. It is Easter week, and also Easter is more than just a week. But today's devotion, I'd like to take a look at the Old Testament reading from Job for Easter Sunday. From Job chapter 19, the first half, verses 18 to 22. Job says, Even young children despise me. When I rise, they talk against me. All my intimate friends abhor me, and those whom I loved have turned against me. My bones stick to my skin and to my flesh, and I have escaped by the skin of my teeth. Have mercy on me, have mercy on me, O you, my friends, for the hand of God has touched me. Why do you, like God, pursue me? Why are you not satisfied with my flesh? Job certainly had some family divisions. How do you have such family divisions? Well, I know Job would rather die. And so would we. Job would rather die than be despised by his family. Spiritual pain caused by family troubles hurts terribly. Who doesn't want to be loved? To not be loved by anyone or anything is a lonely despair that no one should ever experience. But we know, too, that sin that causes division is a two-way street. Maybe you haven't been the best parent. Maybe you could have been a, a better spouse or a better brother or sister. There's no worse day that someone could have than have a day like Job's. But Job wasn't alone. Job clung to his faith in God. Job clung to his conversations with God. Job prayed. And Job knew that the one who never left him in his despair and loneliness, Job knew that the Lord would never leave his presence. Thanks be to God that the words of Christ have been written, that he is risen indeed. Alleluia. In fact, the Lord revealed the resurrection of Jesus Christ to Job centuries before, which caused him to proclaim the second half of our reading. Oh, that my words were written. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. Oh, that with an iron pen and lead they were engraved in the rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and at the last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, yet in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. My heart faints within me. This is the word of the Lord. And this is the gospel in Job. The Redeemer lives. And so does Job. The Redeemer lives even after your skin has been thus destroyed. Yet in your flesh, created anew, you shall see God. You shall see your Redeemer face to face. The Lord described to Job heaven. The Lord describes to you heaven as well. In the name of Jesus Christ, crucified and risen indeed. Alleluia and amen. 